In this tutorial, I'm going to cover the 32 float version 3 workflow. We're going to focus on how 32 float version 3 interacts with Photoshop. To get started, I need a 32 bit image. There's two ways to do this. I can either open an existing 32 bit image, or I can create a new one. If I go up to the File menu, I can select the BEF file. When you install 32 Float, it also installs a BEF file format plugin that will allow you to read and write our HDR formats. But you can use any kind of HDR image. It can be a TIFF file, OpenEXR, Radiance HDR. Any 32-bit file format will work. Now when the image comes up, it looks rather dark. But remember, this is a 32-bit image. So as I adjust the brightness slider down here below, it'll reveal all the content that's in the image. You can just leave it here in the middle. We'll go up to the Filter menu, down to Unified Color, and select the 32 Float plugin. This brings up 32 Float. Now, as I mentioned, the tools are identical to HDR Expose. So anything that you can do in HDR Expose 3, you can do in 32 Float. Let me just select the preset, and then I can click OK to exit the plugin. The one unique feature that 32 Float has is the ability here to choose what bit depth you want to return the image to Photoshop with. I started as a 32-bit file, but if I want to return a 16-bit file, I'll click on this. Now when I click OK, 32 Float is going to tone map and return a converted 16-bit image back into Photoshop. You can see up here that it is a 16-bit image. And you can also see that it's returned it as a layer with a mask inside of Photoshop. So if you want to do any blending or, or layer operations, you have a separate layer here that now contains this tone mapped image. And that's how you can open an existing 32-bit image, apply the changes inside of 32 float, and return a tone mapped 16-bit image back to Photoshop. Now let's look at how you create a new 32-bit image inside of Photoshop. 32 float does not have HDR Expose 3's merge and alignment functionality. For that, you're going to use the tools inside of Photoshop. We'll go down into the File menu, select Automate, and Merge to HDR Pro. We'll click on the Browse button to select our images. These are the ones that I want to use. And then you press the OK button. By default, when the Merge to HDR Pro plugin opens, it's going to be displaying the 16-bit mode. This essentially is doing all the tone mapping inside of Photoshop. But if you want to use this tool to create a 32-bit image to process inside of 32 float, you're going to click on the Mode menu and select 32-bit. When you do that, you see all the tools disappear. It also looks like you've blown out all the highlight detail here in the clouds. But that's okay, because we're using this to create a 32-bit image, so all that highlight information will be present in the 32-bit file. I'm going to click on OK. And now I have the 32-bit image inside of Photoshop. And I mentioned not to worry about the highlight detail. This is a 32-bit image, so it's, all of that data is still in the file. As I darken my display slider here, you can see that the cloud detail comes back. So I'm going to take this into 32 float to tone map it. Go back under the filter dialog, open up 32 float. The image shows up here. I'm just going to select my optimal preset and then click OK. And now you can see my 16 bit tone mapped image returned back into Photoshop as a separate layer. Now, if you're using the new Photoshop Creative Cloud, there's one more change that Adobe made in the Merge to HDR Pro dialog. I want to point this out for you. And we want to make sure that we're 
set the mode to 32 bits. But there's one other thing that Adobe's added here, and this is to complete the toning in Adobe Camera Raw option. We want to uncheck this because this will send the resulting image back to Adobe Camera Raw for tone mapping. By unchecking this, we're going to make sure that we're only returning a merged 32-bit image into the application. And that's how easy it is to create tone mapped images from 32-bit images inside of Photoshop using 32 float. Thanks for watching.